So what? You're clearly a coward who can't even buy what he wants. I'm sorry, I was way out of line. You know, I, I think antagonizing him is kind of working. I do so! Sh sh show me what you have! <laughs> Alright, we are back with another run of Talk to Strangers. I mean, where do you go after the first one? Your boy obviously rocked the true ending with the first run. Was there a lot of luck involved there, Falcon? Yes, absolutely. But that doesn't matter. The thing is, we got it done. Now, we can start looking for the weird, creepy stuff. The weird, bad endings, which is the really, really fun part. So here's what I'm planning to do. I'm going to be keeping backup saves on my days so that I don't have to do multiple runs. What I'm hoping to do is do one more run where we trigger whatever is triggerable in one single run. And then without having to go all the way back to day one. Therefore, if you guys are enjoying it and want to see more, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up. If there's enough interest, I'll do this because... What I'm going to do right now is going to take a little work because I have to do a bunch of trial and error to figure out what's the proper things to say to people. And if it fails, then, you know, I got to do it all over again. So what I'm also hoping to do right now is we're going to try to alternate a little bit, too. So, for instance, if we went over to, say, Granny's house in the daytime, which we did, we'll go to Granny's house at nighttime. If we went to another place in the nighttime, we'll go in daytime. Let's go to Rich House to start off with. This one, I believe I failed last time, so let's see how it goes this time around. Now we should have some tips too, right? Yeah, okay, so... She makes me mad, especially in the daytime. She makes me sad, especially at night. A mix of confidence and subservience works. Okay, so those are the tips here for this house. Use the intercom, hello there, knock on the door. Oh, she's got an intercom, let's use it. Already with the rage going up. What? Can't we speak in person? I've got a great deal for you, come meet me. This goes a lot better face to face. Well, we gotta be confident and a little bit subservient, so... Confidence would be this goes a lot better face to face. Well, she opened a door and nothing else dropped, so that's good. Or went up, I should say. Hmm. This is nothing illegal, right? If it is, go to that kid over there. Which I believe means the, uh, the stoner kid. I like how the neighbors allude to each other, though. I've seen that quite a bit. Alright, so... Are you ready for it? For what? Here they have great re here they have great resale value, you know. Just take a look at these. Um, if you're rich, you kind of remind me of that stock lady from the Don't Talk to Strangers game. So let's go with a great resale value. Oh, my rage decrease. That's good. Hmm, that's nice, I guess. Is it though? Is it really? They are great for your life. They are great for your house. They are great for everything. They're great for your life. Hmm. Yeah. How much do they cost? They cost next to nothing, not much, and I take every form of payment. Not cheap, but I don't think that's a problem for you. <laughs> well, you know, I gotta do placate to your... your ego a little bit, right? Oh, she opened that door! We're back to a zero and a zero. Huh, you got that right, keep going. You like that, huh? Oh, uh -huh, you like me stroking that ego a little bit. I've got the supply, you got the demand. They, uh, they're great. Just help me out. Sales are low these past few months. Well, that would be kind of the subservient part, huh? Because none of these really allude to confidence. Let's go with subservience here. They are, aren't they? Alright. Well, she she started frowning a little bit. We got a decrease in depression. Do we make... Hey! I guess we'll do the kid's house, the stoner's house at daytime. But I do want to do Granny at nighttime. I want to see if, like, Granny gets really weird because, you know, she was really sweet. And daytime at the first run. But knowing this game, there's always, like, an underlying, like, you know, creepiness factor there. And we might find it at nighttime. Maybe she eats children for all you know. I don't know, man. Maybe she's like the witch from Hansel and Gretel. Let's just go ahead and knock on this door here, huh? Leave me alone! Hey, just open the door a bit so we can talk face to face. Come on, at least look at what I'm selling. I just want to sell you some stuff. Hmm. Can we talk face to face? What do you want to see my face for? Are you police? Is you calling me the Popo? Yo, dog, I'm not the Popo. Have you seen my videos when I put the KRS One clip? As a matter of fact, Future Falcon, put it right now. <laughs> you think I'm a pig? Screw this, I'm not selling to you. Dude, chill out. I like to party too. I'm not a cop. I work in door-to-door -door sales. I, as a matter of fact, I do. Oh, you popped the door open. Hmm? And what do you sell? Oh, well, let me tell you, buddy. I sell only the good stuff. 
I don't think you're ready. No, but I don't even want to sell to you anymore. I'm selling these. Mm, no, I don't think you're ready. What? Of course I'm ready. I'll get two. <laughs> Are you telling me that freaking reverse psychology? I mean, he's a little bit, you know, stoned. We sold one product. And now we got nighttime, so now we are definitely going to Granny's house at nighttime. And let's see how this works out here. Yes? Alright. Hello. Hello, missus. Care to improve your house and your life? Hello, missus. You have a beautiful house. Now let's take a look at these. I think you have a beautiful house. Do you want to be flattered a little bit? Of course she does. Oh my, aren't you a charmer? Let's take a look then. How much for two? Well, let's see here. They're very cheap. If you buy two, you get a third one for free. I think this is what we used last time in daytime and it got me a sale instantly. But we're not looking for a sale. We're looking to see if we could trigger something creepy. So, not yet. It doesn't matter how much they cost. Just how much you need them. Yes, I know this would be where I put do the Bane thing. Not doing the Bane thing again because I'm repeating the joke. The thing about these beauties is that they cost almost nothing. Do you want to hear that? Well, that is my preferred price range. Maybe I don't get one. Why stop at one? How about like five? Five sounds very good to me. The sooner we finish this, the sooner we'll go to bed. It's getting late, ma'am. Let's do this. If you buy them now, you will thank me by the morning. Yeah, just buy them now, please. I want to go. Oh, no, 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 don't close, don't close the door on me. I'm not so sure. What do you think? What do I think? I think you should buy them from me, obviously. I want to make money. I, I think you know exactly what you want. I think a young lady like you needs this. I think it's late and I'm tired. Please help me out. Just help me out, lady, okay? Oh no, I forgot sales are a rough life. They're, they're, they're the worst. You would understand the type of people I deal with. Okay, look, just buy the things I could go. No, where are you going this time? Oh, poor boy. Staying this late is dangerous, you know? There are things out there. Oh. Oh, now we're getting weird, huh, Granny? What kind of things are out there, Granny? Are you threatening me? She wants to eat me, I told you. It's Hansel and Gretel. No more dangerous than being jobless. I can handle myself. Hmm. Why is that? Well. We've been kind of pushing the entire help me out jobless thing, right? True words. Let's help you out then. Everything decrease. Zero and a one. Oh, wow. We sold eight products. That was probably the best outcome that I would imagine. If you sell eight products. Nice. Well, I didn't expect any of these first houses to give us an instant ending, so I'm not surprised. I just really wanted to sell and just trigger a lot more dialogue, so that went pretty well. Tuesday it is. Alright, so we have the mansion, which we failed at drastically last time. We have the poor house, which I believe... The poor house in the daytime, there was nobody there, so we should probably come at nighttime. Loud house was the screaming parents, and then the regular house... Oh, that was that one, um, girl that... Apparently, she's really nice to you when she's on the clock. Let's go to the mansion. Let's go to the mansion. Last time you guys ran me out of here. I'm hoping that this time we have, hopefully, some better luck. Whoa, these people are loaded. We have some tips, too. Sober in the morning, drunk in the evening. There is no doorbell, so we shall knock. Yeah, is this the Corella DeVille character? Yes. Well, you seem like a wealthy woman. Want to buy some stuff? That's a nice house. Let's get to the point here. You want to buy some stuff? Why would I? I have everything. That is true. It does seem like your, your, your freaking glass panels are made out of diamonds, too, considering how much they glimmer. Well, screw you, then. But maybe you can have more. Well, no, you don't. What were the things about her? Maybe we could trick her? I mean, I'm going to be rude about this. What did you say? I said, no, I said screw you. You can't talk to me like that, maggot! Oh, I'm a maggot now. I, I feast off of the leftovers of flesh, is what you're saying to me. Hey, you can't talk to me like that. I can. I have dealt with insects more interesting and smarter than you. You will let me do whatever I want. Wow. That is some entitlement right there, Cruella. I mean, what do you want to do to me? I mean, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm a little bit curious, I will admit. This is not about me? What do you mean? I believe in the god of sales. This facade of yours? I don't buy it. I believe you're lonely. 
I mean, it would probably explain the uh, heavy drinking problem, huh? You're so rich, but you're alone. Money doesn't buy happiness. You know what? People say that all the time. You give me a lot of money, you believe me, I'll find a way to buy happiness to myself. I believe in the god of sales. I'm supposed to trick her, apparently, so... What? <laughs> Blew your mind, huh? The god of sales? You never heard that one before. Uh, let's see. Got your attention now, did I? The great god of sales. He or she will aid me in getting rich. I don't want to talk about it. I did get your attention, huh? Yes, you did. Now tell me. How are we doing over here, by the way? One and one, that's actually really good. Okay, okay, but only if you buy at least two. Okay, okay, here's a flyer. Okay, okay, but only if you buy a lot of stuff. I have flyers? That's just a napkin with a crude drawing of a butt on it. <laughs> I'm a terrible drawer, but believe me, I could draw a really good derriere. Yup, drew it myself. Bet that's something you didn't even have. Run away laughing with some of your dignity intact. Well, the gods of sales speak in mysterious ways. Well, this would be like we tricked her, right? I have everything, but she did never she never really did have a drawing by me of a butt. I hate you, but in a good way. Let's buy something! Hey! Your boy's done it. I wanna leave the the, the the weird lady thing at nighttime, so I guess what we could do right now. Poor house, they're not there at daytime, apparently. Let's go to Loud House, I guess. And then we'll do that lady at nighttime and see how that plays out for us. This is where the, the, the parents were fighting and there was a child, too. These three people at the same time got a focus. They fight and bicker way more during the night. Well, luckily, we're here in daytime. Oh, there's a doggo here, too, this time. How about that? How you doing, little buddy? All right, let's start off by ringing that old doorbell. Grandpa, the door! Oh, there's a grandpa? No, I thought it was like a mom and dad fighting. Hmm. Take your time, folks. Who's that, grandpa? What you want? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm here to say, do you like deals? I'm here to help you make the deal of a lifetime. Oh, I'm just selling these beauties. Do you like deals? I do, I do. So what's the deal with these things? What are you, Seinfeld? What is the deal with sales? Who knocks on doors? Um, uh, well... I assure you, my products are all top quality. Tell me, what do you need right now? The best things about my products is that they are cheap as hell. What do you need right now, Gramps? Well, I'll have to ask my daughter first. Do you now? Alright. Oh, of course, ask away. Oh, of course, you ask her to wipe your butt too? Wow! What a jerk! Oh, of course, I just thought you made the decisions. I like this one. Well, well sometimes I- Hey! Dems fight! <laughs> <laughs> she does wipe your butt. I understand, buddy. You're an old man. You know what happens. Unfortunately, happens to the best of us at some point or another. So what? You're clearly a coward who can't even buy what he wants. I'm sorry. I was way out of line. You know, I, I think antagonizing him is kind of working. I do so. Sh show me what you have. <laughs> so being a jerk is playing perfectly out over here. Okay, here, what do you think? I don't think so anymore. You're not worth it. No, but I'll show them to your grandson. I bet he has some money stashed. I don't think you're worth it. Oh, the daughter showed up, I think. Hey, my dad can take care of himself, not like some other people. Your husband, yeah. He can make his own decisions. Buy something and show him, dad. <laughs> Aren't you kind of telling him what to do? You know what? Maybe I feel like she's the one who the, the issue with the parents is because of her. She's like a very commanding person. I'm not convinced he can make his own decisions. Yeah, buy something, Dad. And you answer for him? I do, and he will buy whatever he wants. <laughs> this is working out great. Yeah, buy something, Grandpa. Just buy something for the love of God. Yeah, buy something, mister. Buy something, mister. Uh, I shouldn't, but maybe... If you do, I'll stop bothering you. If you do, I'll throw an extra one for the kid. If you do, I'll throw an extra one for free. Nah, nah. I'm not gonna give him free stuff. We've been a jerk the entire time. I'm actually enjoying the attention, but okay, my depression went up. But did we make a sale? Hey! Alright. Got that one too. I think last time we failed that one too, so now we're, we're doing fairly good. Alright, so we got one more to go. So we're definitely checking out the regular house at nighttime. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the old ring-a-ring. -ring. 
My rage has already gone up. Go away, I'm off the clock. All right. No skin off my back, it's nice to end the day early for a chance. No, 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 we're not doing that. What do you mean, off the clock? I think that went bad last time. Let's go with what? Oh, she opened the door. Oh, you're dressed differently too, huh? I think you are. Interesting. What, what? That's how you plan to make a sale? You know I'm a salesman? I feel like I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? 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 Who are you? How do you know I'm a sales? I'm on sales. Let's give her the Stone Cold treatment here. What, what? That's the only words you know how to say? Apparently. <laughs> Should I do it again? It's been working so far. No wonder the boss hates you. Depression, what? what? The boss hates me? Who are you? How do you know about the boss? Bruce Springsteen. Nope, don't believe you. Goodbye. What does the boss has to, what does the boss have to do with this? What? No, oh, what do you know about the boss? I work for him like you. We're actually co-workers. Oh, are we? But you're not going door to door, you're just hanging hanging out inside of a house. Well, this is all a test then. All a test? I've passed? Hmm. I know that already. I was testing you, and you failed. Well, this is kind of intriguing now. I'm a little bit confused. Alright, what if we try to switch it around on her? What if we were testing her this entire time? What if the boss is a double agent and he wanted me to test you by making you think you were testing me? Oh, that got you worried, huh? Don't close the door on me, though. <laughs> Don't close the freaking door on me. I'm just joking, or maybe I'm not. You sure you want to take your chances? Yeah, now buy something or I'll be sure to mention this on my report. You've changed. You were nothing like you were three years ago at that conference. You want me to put this in a report? Okay, sorry. Here. We got her to buy? Yeah! <laughs> so what have I learned today with this um, run thus far? Apparently being a jerk has been the best way to get everything achieved or get everything done. I've achieved a lot of success today in this recording with just being a jerk to everybody. Alright, so I think now we got the easy ones out of the way. I don't think there's any way to trigger endings with these two days. But now, we're coming into day number three. So this will probably make a backup of my save. And we're gonna probably, with the next video, if I do another one, I will start triggering, or at least looking for, bad ends. Because I'm pretty sure the next day... The next day has the creeper, right? The, the pedo creeper? I think the next one has the pedo creeper from the first game. Or Don't Talk to Strangers, anyway. So we can look for that one and anything else to kind of do. Or, oh, we also get the robot. And the robot was obviously up to something, too. Yeah, so I think um, next episode we'll probably start triggering some of the bad ends. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a thumbs up and I'll put in the extra work. I will catch you next time.